Six weeks isn't long at all. Okay, so it's gonna feel like a long time with what you're doing. And especially if you're really hyper-focused on an outcome-based goal, because if you don't achieve that, right, and within the period of time in which you set yourself, you feel like you've failed, like you're disheartened by it. When in actual fact, it's not that you failed, it's probably that you weren't patient enough to reach that goal. Something that I say to people all the time, the men, the ladies, I can help you reach your goal in six weeks. What I'm gonna do though, is give you a calorie restricted diet. It's only 800 calories a day. I want you to train like an animal for seven days a week. You're not allowed any alcohol, carbs, or to go out with your friends, right? Now I guarantee you in six weeks that I'll get you a pretty spectacular result if you follow the plan of action, right? One slight problem though, you will achieve your goals in six weeks, but you will hate every single second of it. But the beauty is, you're gonna get your goal. Now the issue that we have within the six weeks is we've achieved our goal, You've done it by unsustainable means, and although you feel good because you've hit it, it's only a matter of time before you go back to the way you were. So what we have to ask ourselves was that the six weeks worth it if we got to our goal? And the answer is like, no. And here's the main thing, when I say that, a diet is the best diet, which is the one you see yourself doing a year from now. Because the best diet for you you know, make the six weeks might not help you achieve it and for the goal, it might take you three months. The best diet might take you six months. And one of the main reasons is it takes into account your habits, your routines, your weaknesses, and your lifestyle. But, here's a big but. When you get to your goal, because you've understood the fundamentals of what we're doing, okay, we're eating less food, we're burning more, we're being more consistent, and we're enjoying the process, not punishing yourself. Then we get to that goal in six months, we stay there. We don't go backwards because we've built up solid habits and routines, you know, that adhere to the fundamentals of fat loss. We enjoy what it is what we're doing, then we can keep consistent with it. So the question, would you rather get results in six weeks that are unsustainable and keep you yo-yoing backwards and forwards, or are you willing to be patient and persistent to your goal and keep it forever? That's the reality of why people struggle with fat loss, men and women included, because they're too impatient to get the results because they think that once they get the results, then that's the end of the game. They don't have to do it anymore when it's only the beginning, okay?